Sounds 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. This is 10 minutes or less. Let's start the timer. But in uh, TNT, so the Browns. Oh, yeah, baby. Beat the Steelers. Oh, yeah, they did. Good I deal. saw but that. But yeah. I was talking about Miles Garrett. Did you hear about this? Uh, no. So Miles Garrett see. is their number one overall pick a few years ago. Really good defensive lineman. Star, like, star of their defense. Okay. He, uh. He flipped his Porsche. Browns. In Cleveland. Of course. Uh, the Browns curse. They said he was driving on a like a rural road and he flipped his Porsche. He he ended up, he didn't really get hurt. Had some like sprains and strains and stuff. Sure. Very lucky. Yeah. Um, he was with he was with another girl. I guess there's body cam footage of after the accident or something. I didn't see it. But essentially, they it's come out also that. He he has been cited at least six times in Cleveland area since he's been up there for driving like 120 miles an hour, 100 miles Ooh. an hour, oh. 90 miles an hour, oh. like twice in one day one time. Oh, he's, he's one of them types. So he gets in his Porsche yeah. and he just drives. Crazy. Yeah. And this dude is worth like $100 million or more or whatever. <laughs> he, he and like, uh, How old is he? 26. Okay, okay. I mean, yeah. you're still doing wildish when you're 26. Yeah, absolutely. I was still driving fast on the freeway. Yeah, was yeah, man. <laughs> Tell me, he wasn't driving in the snow? No, no, not yet. No, <laughs> in a Porsche. In the yeah, snow. driving 100 in the snow. But yeah, man, like it. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. It's, it's some, don't something know. about like uh, professional athletes just makes them like. They, I mean, I guess maybe you. you they do wild stuff, right? You get a bunch of money, and then what do you do? You need that adrenaline, man. You need more adrenaline. So let me drive 100 miles on the freeway. Maybe let me have a bunch of babies. <laughs> let me That's a bunch that, of the ultimate adrenaline. Yeah, I mean, yeah. When the girls are throwing it at you. I guess, man. When they're yeah. throwing it at you. Well, I don't know for sure, but what they said was in the, in the, in the, in the, in the de- cop's body cam footage that came out, his license plate is blurred. The girl he was with's face was blurred, but his face was not blurred. So then it came out was like, oh, was he with a girl he wasn't supposed to be with? <laughs> like, mm. <laughs> yeah. So it, mm. it uh, well, it, it'll definitely come out once she uh, when she decides to make a statement. That's for sure. Yeah, dude. I just, I just don't know. It just the Browns curse. That's like Kellen Winslow back in the day was like doing motorcycle stunts in a damn parking lot and flipped over his handlebars and missed like a bunch of time. He was never the same after that. Yep, and, uh, like and Ben Roethlisberger never wearing a helmet. Yeah, dude. Like even with the Browns, they had like that Josh Gordon dude who like couldn't. He was super talented. Couldn't couldn't stay off of drugs and alcohol. Like mm-hmm, got mm-hmm. like I just don't understand why the Browns have. Honestly, Jones, let's let me keep it a buck with you, All man. Right, let's go. I, and, and, and my age, I, you know, I, I feel like I don't understand why people do things that can get them killed. All right. So when we're talking about you know driving a porch 100 miles on the freeway, I don't see what the point of that is. All right. When it comes to uh, uh, riding a motorcycle, I really don't see the point of that. I don't see the point of riding a motorcycle. Period. When it comes to skydiving or or or, or you know like getting in a in a shark tank or something like I mean skydiving, I could see with with a cage and a shark tank. Okay, I get you. It could be fun, exhilarating. It's still stupid. But then there's those people who are like, no, I just want to freehand them. Why are you freehandling sharks? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know, get man. it. Why do you want to swim with piranhas and and, and jump in the lions in lions den and and shame lions? Why do you want to do that? Yeah. Like, okay. Why? I said that about motorcycles, but let me, I want to reiterate. Like I've, I've ridden on a motorcycle. I've never driven a motorcycle. So, so like, and I understand the allure, like the, like, cause it's like super fast and like, yeah. and the, uh, and the wind and the rush. Sure. Whatever. And like, I get it. That sounds But at the it. same time, I just, the thought of it makes me feel so unsafe. Like, just like, I'm like, oh, I'm going to drive down to Walmart on my motorcycle. I'm like, that sounds terrifying <laughs> sounds insane it sounds insane now i knew a guy who was a paramedic and uh he actually uh was in the market to buy a motorcycle okay until he went on one call and he saw the after effects of a man and a woman riding on a motorcycle now this was in pennsylvania where there are no or, or in pa so there were no helmet laws oh yeah and um, he said that after he saw that, there was no way he would, he would ever get on ride one. a motorcycle. Yeah. I also 
was in a relationship with somebody who wanted a motorcycle so bad when we were in a relationship. And I was like, I don't think you should do that. I think it's a bad idea. The minute that the relationship ended, that individual got in a motorcycle and proceeded to F get their leg effed up. I ain't going to say it was their fault, right. but I'm going to say is that circumstances, number one circumstances being on a motorcycle and <laughs> realizing that people don't know how to drive. Right. It, it, well, yeah. And, and you end up in the hospital. Is, is most of the time you, it's not that the motorcycle person did something. It's some yeah. fucking Yahoo smashes into him. But yeah, that's and exactly. It's like, but those are things that you can't control. Oh, things exactly. you can't control. Somebody so, cuts you off, man, and you get ran off the road. You're the one that gets effed up, dude. Like, yeah. it's, regardless, it's, the outcome is still the same. Yeah. Whether it's you that causes the mistake or it's somebody else, but you can control yourself. You can't control other people. Yeah, exactly. And, I, and I'm not in no way am I trying to say that an individual needs to live in fear and not do things that are like, sure, go get your kicks, go get. But climbing up the side of a mountain without you without a harness is just nuts. Yeah, well, it's just see, nuts. And when it comes to skydiving, I just want to like see the earth coming at me like that. I sure. think that, but oh, like, yeah. it's I'm not saying it's not dangerous and stupid because yeah. like, what if your shoot don't open? Hell yeah, that sounds worth it. That's how, yeah. <laughs> I love what? the sarcasm. No, that it's sounds worth super it. Super worth it, dude. It's for the experience. Fuck the experience. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to live out here, all right? There's plenty of things you can do that are... Per and they look, I sound like a goddamn Ch Chucky Finster over You're here. You're a boomster today. I no, I sound like... Dude, Who's I sound a like Chucky Finster? What is Chucky that? Chucky Finster. I have no Rugrats, idea. Rugrats, he was the little redhead oh. uh, Jewish kid. <laughs> I don't think this is such a good idea, guys. I sound like him. And I don't care. It's all right. You can be the boomer sometimes. No, because it's like, I'll go and I'll do some stuff, man, or I'll go and watch some stuff, but I'm just not trying to put myself in any situation where I'm like, is this experience truly worth me dying? Right. And there are ways to have exhilarating experiences that are not potentially lethal. Yeah. So I I'm, agree. On this, it's like, man, it took me forever to get on a plane. Yeah. And yeah, I know I, that may be a little bit too much, but you know. But no, hey, man. It's, now I'm cool with it. Yeah, I just make exactly. my peace before when before I step on, and I, you know. Well, let me tell you this though: I never had that issue, but literally every time I get on a plane, the thought crosses my mind that I am completely out of control. What happens, and I'm twenty thousand feet or thirty thousand feet yeah, in the air or whatever. Yeah. That that thought crosses yeah, my mind yeah. every time I walk on a goddamn yeah, airplane. Yeah, it does. And it if does. anyone says that it doesn't cross their mind, they're no, liars. It does. I've seen people cry. I've seen like people get on their hands knees and pray over like a little touch of turbulence and i'm like come yeah. on fam yeah i've had I, there was girls like, it's gonna happen it's gonna happen <laughs> i've never had a girl do this to me but i've had <laughs> girls that i've known talk about when they fly by themselves they'll like grab though i like, hold the hand to like the person next to them that's a stranger like on the plane they'll be like yeah sometimes i'll just like grab the guys next to me's hand and squeeze it because i'm scared and i'm like what do they do on that they're like well they never seem to mind they and i'm like mind, yeah. yeah yeah well yeah if you're a pretty girl and you're grabbing a guy's <laughs> hand he's gonna be like yeah could you, could you imagine me grabbing a hand of a woman next to me when the plane <laughs> is going off he's like I just did. Please help. Please hold my hand. And just I'm, giving her like the puppy dog eyes. Yeah, she, she, you look over like you're welling up. <laughs> She's like, "Oh, it's okay. It's no. okay, TNT." She probably be like, "Ew, don't touch me." <laughs> I know that's how I feel too. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, dude. It it's those exhilarating experiences are like, like you know the things that I really don't get to like that like base jumping in like a wingsuit. Like where you jump off and you're and you. That's insane, man. Because I, I get one it. I get it. minute wrong twist of your body yeah. and you're just you're just tumbling you're down done. the side of a mountain. You're done. Yeah, man. You you're hear about done. that that ish all the time. Even those professionals that have even like like those long jump skiers and stuff too, dude. Like one miscalculation and you just like get crumpled yeah, into a ball. And yeah, and they're always breaking bones and stuff. And I I, I don't know. I it's not like I have a, a fear of that happening because it's like what can you do? It's gonna happen if it's gonna happen. Right. Exactly. But on the same note, I don't know why you wanna jump off a, a snow pile. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know. Is jumping off a of snow really making you that much money? I mean, there's, there's yeah. guys who make a lot of money jumping off of snow. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, right? I, I would jump into a snow pile for money. No, I mean, like, down a ski hill and jump oh, off the snow. Yeah, like, I mean, if you're, like, doing, I don't know, man. Some of that's way more dangerous than others. Like, doing a half pipe is way less dangerous than, like, doing, like, a, a, a long jump. Yeah, I'm thinking about, like, those skis, those ski ones where, like, they're, like, Oh, at the top of the hill, there, and they come way down, and it's like takes them ten seconds to reach the bottom, and then they go off of this ramp, and they're like 
three thousand feet in the air, and they're, and they're like spinning and doing corkscrews yeah, and stuff. And, and they're they... like grab a piece of moon rock, and then they come down and like, they're yeah. like, why do you want to do that? Yeah, can your legs even sustain the pressure? Dude, I the pressure? feel like the impact of like coming down would like break my knees. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, I guess they're able to. I guess it's all in the landing. You gotta like bounce. No, fam. Yeah, dude. And it snows, so less impact. I get it, but yeah, but yeah. that shit is packed down tight. Screw that. Not doing exactly. It. I, I feel you. Not jumping like, off the snow. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know, man. But that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. Be safe. TNT. <laughs> we out.